Ladies, before you call it quits and before you exit your marriage, just watch this video and then give me a call. Here are a few mistakes that we make as strong, powerful women. Ready? That we put our masculinity out there in order to cover up our vulnerability. And what that does is that it protects us from the good and from the bad. It protects us from being hurt, again, because most of us do that because we were hurt, but it also protects us from having any kind of loving, intimate relationship in our life, okay? So for this message is for us very strong, very wonderful women out there that have uh, a hard time communicating their vulnerability. I wanna tell you one thing. I am divorced for five and a half years and I'm a single mom of two kids. I knew that when I was getting divorced, I knew that it, I'm just switching hard for another kind of hard, a different kind of hard. I don't have any regrets in terms of getting divorced and learning all the things that I've learned over the past five and a half years and going and becoming and evolving into this like different kind of person because of all the things that I've been through, okay, on my own over the past five and a half years. But I have to tell you, looking back and looking back at my marriage, I have made so many mistakes and my biggest mistake was thinking that it was all his fault. That was my biggest mistake, thinking like, I am in the right and he is completely wrong. And I really, really saw it that way. And oftentimes I still see it that way. But I know, okay, I know that there's no such thing. It takes two to tango. Always it takes two to tango. It always takes two to tango. So even if you think that he's completely, completely, it's 100% his fault, you have to know that you're not seeing something about yourself. You have to know that you are not, you're playing your cards wrong. Maybe not all your cards wrong, but some of your cards you're definitely playing wrong and that's why you're not getting the results that you want to get. So this message is to the very strong, very loud, very um, strong, for lack of a better, warrior, wonder woman, okay, women out there. Listen to me. Three C's. If you, if you do these three C's, you will screw up in your marriage, in your relationships, with your kids, over and over again. These three C's can work for you outside in the workforce. They can work for you in your life. They can make you actually the most successful woman ever out there. But in intimate relationships, in vulnerable relationships, in close relationships, these never, ever work. So take it from me, all right? I've made this mistake. Listen to me. You can learn from, you can learn two ways in life. You can either learn by example or you can learn by experience. So in this case, please learn by example. The example is that the first C is criticism. Okay? When we communicate, when we when we communicate through criticism, okay? When we feel like, you know, we feel so wronged and therefore we criticize our husbands or our kids or whomever, you have to know like Tony Robbins says, criticism to a man is like cancer. Okay? He cannot hear you. He only all you're doing to him, you're saying all these things, you're trying to make a point, you're trying to show him your way, you're trying to coach him into a better way of acting, but you have to know what you're really doing. Like Rabbi Nachman says, you're giving him bikoret, you're giving him criticism, the shorish of the word bikoret. Criticism is bikoret in, in Hebrew. Um, the shorish there is kevil. You are burying him. You're not making him see the light and want to him improve his ways and want to go out and buy you flowers and give you the biggest hug. No, you're not doing that. What you are doing is you're burying him. You're pushing him further and further away. And Tony says, criticism to a man is like cancer. So f figure out a way to communicate what you need to say to him and what's bothering you without criticizing. Now, what Tony Robbins also says is that he says that for every, and with this, with this we know, that for every uh, one, uh, one, not criticism, but for every one thing that you want to point out that you're unhappy with, you have to have five uh, good things that you say. So you really have to shower the people in your life with love at all times. Like milk it, milk it. When things are good, when the vibes are good, give tons of compliments, love, touch, uh, kiss, uh, 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 like show them how much they mean to you. Um, tell them how much they mean to you. Bring up examples. Really, really, really flood them. Flood. When everything is good, flood it with good. And when there's one thing to say or two things to say that are you're hurt by, then find another way besides for criticizing. Because what you're doing when you criticize is you shoot yourself in the foot. Okay? The first thing is criticism. The second thing, the second thing is... Closed off. Three C's. 
when you close yourself off, woman, because you are hurt, you have to know that what happens is that, yeah, you, you close yourself off. And I used to close myself off all the time. I still do. When I feel hurt, I close myself off, even to my kids, even to my kids. I'll just give you an example. Yesterday, I went on a really bad date. It was such a bad date. I can't even tell you what a bad date it was. And I don't date often. I'm very, very selective. And it just came from somebody that I really trusted. And I thought that she knew me. But it was so horrible for me. I literally, I came back at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I spent the rest of the day basically in bed. In and out of bed. Giving my kids ki uh, dinner and whatever. Basically in bed. I don't know how why it made me so... It hurt my feelings really badly. Because it was so off for me. And it really hurt me. Okay, um, and what happened to me when I got hurt, and this is something that I started realizing just recently, when I get hurt, I shut down. I went into my room. I don't want to communicate with anyone. I don't want to talk to anyone. I don't want to be nice to anyone. I don't want anyone to see me. I just want to shut off and go into my room and be alone, right? So when we do that, when we're in a relationship, what happens is that we push the other person so far away. You can't be in a loving relationship and go into this place of shutdown. You have to learn how to communicate. Instead of saying, you don't know how to talk to me and you make me feel bad, say, I am hurt and I am feeling like what I do doesn't matter or I am feeling like um, like what I get for you, what I buy you, the, the, the intentions that I have behind the things that I give you, the things that I do for you, you don't notice. And that hurts my feelings and that makes me feel sad. Say what the feeling feelings are. Say the feelings. Name the feelings. What are the feelings? Instead of blaming and criticizing, name the feelings that you're having. That's, a, that's much harder than being angry. Being angry is like the top layer, okay, that when like someone like does something to you and you, you just want to lash out. But really, Really, the feelings underneath the anger are hurt and the feelings underneath the anger are, are, are sadness. So save that. Be vulnerable instead of being, instead of shutting down, instead of st controlling your heart, instead of sh shutting it down, be vulnerable. Say what the feelings are. What are you feeling? And say what you're feeling, not what the other person did and how they did. What are you feeling? I am feeling hurt. I am feeling not seen. I am feeling not appreciated. That's how I'm feeling. I'm feeling small say how you're feeling and the third thing I wanted to say and end off with is control that's the third C Tony says that when you control him you have to know or control your kids or control anyone in your life who likes to be controlled do you like to be controlled do this sit there don't say that say this eat that don't eat that when you control that is the biggest biggest turn off we have to learn how to not control other people nobody likes to be controlled nobody nobody likes to be controlled try to control your kids see what happens there try to control no one likes to be controlled no controlling. Stop controlling. Stop telling them. Stop telling him what to do in an effort to get him to do the right thing by you. Okay. Find another way. Find better ways of showing him. Maybe it's harder. It is harder than controlling and then criticizing. Those are the fast go-tos. Okay. But fast food, fast stuff never, never comes with any benefits besides for in the here and now it feels good. But later, you're going to pay a price. So stop paying the price, my friends. Stop paying these prices. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Trust me. Trust me. Learn by example, not by experience. I hope you don't have to experience going through the pain of separation and divorce and, and, and then after the divorce and everything that comes. Oh, my God, it never ends. If you can save yourself from being divorced and if you can learn better ways of communication, do it. Do it. Do it. Okay? This is the message is for... My female friends out there, being divorced is not any easier than being in a marriage that's hard. It's hard both ways. Learn how to communicate in a marriage. Learn how to be a better wife in that marriage. Learn how to be a better person in that marriage. Okay? And marriage is the be the biggest training ground. Use it. Obviously, I'm not talking to people that are divorced, that are in um, uh, abusive marriages or destructive destructive spouse and I'm, I'm talking about normal relationships that you're fighting and here and there and and your way of communication has to change that will bring you to where you want to go it will bring you to that loving marriage it will bring you to that loving union it's not easy it's not easy to be alone I'm just letting you know I'm not telling you not to get divorced what I'm telling you is that if you have to get divorced then make sure that you've really uh, tried everything and I am offering you my services as a life coach, I'm here and uh, learn by example, not by experience. That's the idea. Have a beautiful Shabbos, everyone. 
I love you all and uh, stay stay smart, not right.